Okay. Um, resume tayo, no? For the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, hindi ko nahihintayin yung iba, no? Kasi re-record na natin ito. For the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, for detailed um, discussion pa, um, here are the basic human needs according to Maslow. So, again, sa gaya ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, um, hindi necessarily that you have to agree with everything na pinag-aaralan natin ngayon because these are different nursing theories na nag-come up sila ng ganitong mga needs. If you have a need na hindi nasasabihin mong, ma'am, hindi po nasabi yung need na to. For example, the need for Wi-Fi. Wala pa siguro nung Wi-Fi nung panahon na yun, ano? Idadagdag natin siya. For Maslow's um, hierarchy of needs, number one, physiological physiologic needs. Oxygen, fluids, nutrition, body temperature, elimination, rest and sleep, sex. Nakalagay dito, sex is not necessary for individual survival but is necessary for the survival of mankind. O nga naman, ano. But kung titignan nyo dito, no, um, the needs of oxygen, fluids, and nutrition, maaalala nyo, kanino, kanino nabanggit na theory, need theory yun kanina? Kung maalala nyo, it was also discussed by Virginia Henderson, right? Yung 14 components na to, tingnan natin kung nakita rin ni Maslow's yung 14 components na to, kung parehas ba sila na nag-come up sa mga needs ng isang individual. Because according kay Maslow, ito lang, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pero yung kay Virginia Henderson, meron siyang 14. Kasi yung kay, kay Virginia Henderson, more um, detailed lang. At ang kagandahan kay Maslow's, nagkaroon siya ng kay Maslow, nagkaroon siya ng hierarchy. Tinilagay niya, nag, uh, nagkaroon siya ng alignment. Which one is um, the basic? Ano yung mga needs na basic? Ano yung talagang needs na kahit kakaunti lang, ano, naka, nakapiramid kasi siya, no? This is at the top, at the tip of the hierarchy, but this one is the most, um, the most need that you have to exert effort. So, physiologic needs, safety and security, that is the physical, psychological safety, your need for shelter, freedom from harm and danger. Merong mga bansa na, um, for example, meron ako mga classmates sa nung nag-aral ako sa Hanoi, sa Vietnam, hindi nila pwedeng pag-usapan yung tungkol sa presidente nila. Unlike sa atin, na very rampant lang tayo, na very blunt, na, oh, ayoko kay Duterte, ayoko kay Lenny. Very, ano tayo, very vocal. But for them, kahit pag-uusap lang, natatakot sila kasi merong pwedeng makarinig. At they, they do not have that freedom like we have right now dito sa Pilipinas. So, that is... Um, he, this one, basic human needs, but this is also according, titingnan natin kung dito ba sa Pilipinas ay applicable itong hierarchy of basic human needs. Next is the love and belongingness needs. The need to love and be loved. Hindi lang ikaw yung nagmamahal, minamahal ka din. Nire-reciprocate. The need to care and be cared for. The need for affection to associate or to belong, the need to establish fruitful and meaningful relationships with people, institution, or organization. Kung, papa, kung papalit-palit ka ng school dahil marami kang nakakagalit na teacher, sino kaya ang may problema? Parang ganun. Ano? Or for example, papalit-palit ka ng trabaho, sino kaya ang may problema? Siguro naghahanap ka talaga din ng gusto mo na pinaka-career na magde-develop ka. But then again, titingnan mo din, why are you not flourishing in one career? Bakit nagja-jump ka from one um, profession to another? Self-esteem needs, self-worth, self-identity, self-respect, and body image. Itong self-esteem na to, when you look at yourself in the mirror, do you see someone who is worthy to be loved, to be cared for? Do you see, do you know yourself like um, others know you? Kasi minsan, mas kilala ka pa ng ibang tao kaysa kilala mo yung sarili mo. Na minsan, meron kang marinig ng mga na sabi-sabi or mga chismis, mga gossips about you. Pag narinig mo na yun, ay siguro nga ganun ako, siguro nga maarte ko, siguro nga madaldal ako. Pina, pinapakinggan mo na siya kasi hindi mo kilala yung sarili mo. So kasama pala yun sa self-esteem needs. And the self-actualization needs are 
the need to learn, the need to create and understand or comprehend. Um, take note that you are, we are a created human beings and we are also created to create. Kaya nga meron tayong mga fulfillment kapag, for example, if you are an artist, nakagawa ka ng kanta, very fulfilling para sa yun. Nakagawa ka ng pelikula or nakagawa ka ng um, libro. You are, um, there is a sense of fulfillment kapag meron kang na-create na something. For example then for the parents, 'di ba? Meron silang nagkaroon sila ng anak. There also there's also a sense of fulfillment because they have created a human being. The need to learn, create and understand or comprehend to comprehend. The need for harmonious relationships, the need for beauty and as or aesthetics. Merong mga tao na hindi sila nakakapag hindi sila makapag-isip ng maayos kapag hindi maayos yung kanilang kapiligiran. So, the, it is also a need. The need to be self-fulfilled and the need for spiritual fulfillment. These are all the basic human needs according to Maslow's. And dito ulit, the physiological needs are the most basic at pinakamadali lang um, for some, no? Hindi lahat. Hindi natin nila lahat because not all are given, not all are privileged to have um yung food in the table. So, yeah, this is our these are the hierarchy of needs according to Maslow. So, there are also characteristics of human needs. Merong um lahat ng tao, all individuals all over the all over the world are um are having needs. Meron tayong mga pangangailangan. Number one that you need to take note is that needs are universal. All human beings have the same human needs. Lahat ng tao kailangan huminga, right? Lahat ng tao kailangan kumain. Lahat ng tao ay kailangan uminom ng tubig. Lahat ng tao ay kailangan matulog. Wala naman siguro na mula nung nabuhay siya hanggang ngayon, 30 years old na siya o 40 years old na siya, hindi minsan hindi pa siya natulog. Hindi pwede. Needs are universal. But, number two characteristic is that needs may be met in different ways. How how is that so? For example, ang normal na pagkain natin is through our mouth. Our digestive system starts with our mouth and then pupunta sa ating digestive tract. But merong mga pagkakataon, there are instances that a person is unable to eat through her through her mouth or through his mouth. Then, papasok ngayon yung total parenteral um, nutrition. For example, you will administer the, the medicine or you will administer the food through nasogastric um, tube or NGT or intravenous route. Right? But, naminit pa rin yung need pero different ways. Needs are universal, but it can be met in different ways. Next, needs may be stimulated by external and internal factors. Ano yung pinakamadali na um, example nito? For example, yung hunger, yung gutom. May internal at may external factors. For example, di ba? For example, sa classroom, imagine mo, biglang meron pumasok na meron siyang daladalang makdo, meron siyang daladalang burger, meron siyang daladalang fries. Maaamoy mo yung amoy ng burger at ng fries, asasabihin mo, ay, nagugutom din ako. Pero sa totoo naman, di ka naman nagugutom. Pero dahil may external factor, na-stimulate yung hunger mo. Yung pangalawa naman, yung internal factors, for example, um, na-feel mo na nagugutom ka. Why? Because meron ka na palang low blood glucose level. Hindi, nakalimutan mo na dahil nag-aaral kang mabuti, hindi ka na pala nakapag-lunch. So, bumaba na yung, yung glucose level. So, that is why you have that sensation of hunger. So, needs are stimulated either external or internal factors. Priorities may be altered. For example, for example, ang isang um, nursing student, gusto niya na ma-achieve niya yung self-esteem niya na gusto niya makatapos ng pag-aaral. So, it, ang gagawin niya, hindi muna siya mag enter into a relationship. Uh, uh, gives higher priority for to her studies to achieve self-esteem over her need for love and belongingness. Kung titingnan natin dito no, ang love and belongingness nasa pangatlong state, nasa pangatlong stage. Pero dahil yung self-actualization niya, yung pangarap niya sa buhay ay gano'n na lang kataas, sasabihin niya na ay hindi ko muna kailangan, kaya ngayon magkakaroon muna ako. Hindi ko muna isasantabi ko muna to at gusto ko tong ma-achieve. 
okay, are you with me? So that is yung priorities may be altered. Needs may be deferred. For example, um, dito sa, sa hierarchy of needs, merong security at safety, meron din dito independence, gusto mo maging independent sa sarili mo. But if you are confined in an hospital, ni mo naman pwedeng sabihin, ah, gusto ko maging independent, and nakakonfined ka nga sa hospital, you are subject to the to the governance, to the authority of those hospital, of that hospital, of those healthcare professionals. Needs are interrelated. For example, when physiologic needs of an infant are adequately met, he associates this with satisfaction of his need for love and belongingness. For example, ang isang ang baby na iyak siya ng iyak, Tapos kahit umiiyak na siya, hindi pa rin siya binibigyan ng milk, hindi pa rin siya binibigyan ng dede, hindi pa rin siya kinakarga. Pag lumaki siya, may instill sa kanya na kahit pala umiyak ako, kahit pala humingi ako ng tulong, walang magbibigay ng tulong sa akin. Whereas, an infant na as early as uh, one month or two month old, na kapag nakita na nila na kapag pala sila ay umiyak, kapag pala sila ay nagsik ng help, kasi yun yung ano lang nila, yun yung cry for help lang nila. Eh. Kapag pala sila ay umiyak, at meron mero mong magbibigay ng dede, meron nang magbibigay ng milk, meron nang kakarga sa kanila, ma-instill sa kanila na ito yung um, the satisfaction of being loved and being belonged. So, a person is loved and appreciated, when a person is loved and appreciated by many people, his self-esteem is enhanced. Totoo to, no, di ba? If you are appreciated, even in the small, if even in the littlest things, for example, sinabi mo, ma, nakapasa po ako, ang score ko po ay 98. Pag minsan, may nasabihin yung magulang na, ay, bakit hindi 99? Di ba, matatawa ka, mama, naka 98 na nga ako eh. Mes, meron naman na, Ma, naka-85 po ko. Oh, galing mo naman anak. Ako nga, nung 75 lang eh. Merong mga magkakaibang, mga magkakaibang mga um, um, experiences and uh, merong mga magkakaibang background na makikita mo dito, bakit ang self-esteem ng tao na to ganun na lang kataas? Or bakit ang self-esteem ng tao na to ay ganun na lang kaba kababa? Because of environmental factors. When a person's self-esteem is enhanced, um, he is more capable of loving and appreciating other people. Imagine um, a nurse or a healthcare prof professional na kaga kagagaling lang niya sa isang big argument, tapos bigla siyang papasok sa kwarto mo at magbibigay ng care. Or do you think this person is capable of giving um, tender loving care or baka nakuha na dala pa niya yung argument niya pagdating niya ng kwarto at bibigyan kanya ng medication, right? So, a person who is um, a person is love, a person who is love, appreciated is a person who is capable of loving and appreciating other people too. A self-actualized person is basically a mentally healthy person. Um, sa nung mga unang mga pag-aaral, hindi nila nakita na kasama ang mental health. But right now, we have um, we have um, discussed, we have seen na talagang ang mental health pala ay napakahalaga, napaka-importante. Not only the physical health of a human being, but the totality of a person. According to Marie Johada, these are the following criteria of a mentally healthy person. Mentally healthy person. The attitude of a person towards himself is positive. When you look, again, when you look in the mirror, are you happy? Are you satisfied? Are you content? Hindi naman tayo, um, hindi naman natin sasabihin na, ay, huwag ka na magpa-plastic surgery. But if you want to enhance yourself, if you want to enhance your beauty, bakit, ka pa, bakit, nagkakaro, bakit nagkaroon ng cosmetics, bakit nagkaroon ng makeup to enhance your beauty? Um, for you to, to feel positive about yourself. The person can become aware of the meaning of his actions through introspection. Introspection is you're able to reflect on your own words, on your own thoughts, on your actions. For example, meron kang naka, nakasagutan, nakagalit na kaibigan. Are you able to reflect kung titingnan mo, tama ba yung mga sinabi ko kanina? Nasaktan ko kaya siya? Tama kaya, tama kaya yung mga nasabi ko kanina? Baka nasaktan ko yung tao na to. If you're able to reflect and introspect, you are a mentally healthy person. A person's self-concept is similar to that which others have 
of um, a person. The person can accept himself, has a sense of identity, kilala mo yung sarili mo, kilala mo kung kailan ka napapagod, kilala mo, alam mo ang sarili mo kapag ito yung hangganan mo, kapag ito, hindi mo na kaya. The person changes and grows throughout life. Again, mas maganda yung sasabihin mo that you change for the better, hindi yung huwag ka nang magbabago. Kasi pag sinabi mo, huwag ka nang magbabago, forever na siyang ganyan. A person acts in a unified manner. So, for example, a unified manner means what you say is what you do. What you talk is what you walk. For example, sasabihin mo na, ma'am, ipapas ko po yung assignment ko bukas ng 12 o'clock. Ipapas mo yung assignment mo bukas ng 12 o'clock. Hindi mo siya ipapas next week. Bakit? Because your words and your actions are unified, right? Yung pinaka-simpleng ano lang yun, ano? Wala naman akong pinapatabaan sa inyo kasi mga, ano naman kayo, mga masisipag naman kayo mga bata. William Glasser states that there are two needs to be mentally healthy. According to Glasser, dalawa lang. Number one is the need to love and be loved, right? Napakasimple, no? Ang pangangilangan na ikaw ay mahalin at magmahal. And the next one is the need to feel that one is worthwhile to self and to other. The feeling of that you are worthy to be loved. The feeling that you deserve something that you are enjoying right now. So on the whole, self-actualization is the essence of mental health. Pag bala sinabi mong self-actualization, you are mentally healthy. Your self-image, your self-concept, your self-identity is intact. Kilala mo yung sarili mo. Kasi when you know yourself, you're also able to, re to relate to another human being. Kasi a hurting person is... A hurt person hurts other people. I mean, ganun na, a hurting person hurts other people. But a healed person, a whole person, is able to heal another person as well. So, uh, health models are holistic. Ang pinakamaganda dito that you have to take note is that patients are involved in their healing process. Hindi pwede na, <laughs> hindi pwede na, um, yung healthcare professional lang ang gusto niya na ikaw ay, na ang patient or client ay kumaling. The patient must be involved, participatory, and engaging in the healing process. Because, una sa lahat, para kanino yung healing na yun? Para sa kanya. Okay. The concept of illness and disease. Do you have any questions? Sa mga nag-PPM sa akin na namamaya ko na lang sasagutin kasi, um, hindi ko kayo masasagot while I am discussing these things. Illness. Illness is a personal state in which the person feels unhealthy. Take note of the word feels. Although sabihin mo wala kang lagnat, wala kang um, uh, okay yung body temperature mo, okay yung timbang mo, okay lahat. But even if you feel unhealthy, feeling po may sakit ako, yung feeling mo, di ba? you feel unhealthy that is oh, that is still an illness illness is a state in which a person's physical emotional intellectual social developmental or spiritual functioning is diminished or impaired compared to previous experience diminished or impaired illness is not synonymous with disease it doesn't mean that you are ill na meron ka ng sakit or karamdaman. Although nurses must be familiar with different kinds of diseases, they are concerned more with illness. Is this person functioning? Is this person well? And is this person feeling whole? What is disease? Disease, there are common causes of diseases. There are as follows, biologic, inherited, developmental, physical, chemical, tissue response, so, a disease is an alteration in the body functioning that results in the reduction of capacities or shortening, pinakamadali na lang, shortening the normal lifespan. Ang normal lifespan natin ngayon, sabi nila nasa ano na lang, 60, 65, 70. But nung mga naunang panahon pa, umaabot pa yung mga lola natin, mga lolo natin, di ba, nang umaabot pa sila ng 90. Ako, meron akong lola na umabot ng 104. Imaginein mo yun, ano? Tapos yung kabilang side, umabot naman siya ng 103. Imaginein mo, ano kaya kinakain nila noon? Ano kaya yung 
o wala kaya silang stress noon siguro hindi kasi sila mas laging nakatutok sa sa nakatutok sa screen right so kung lagi ka siguro nakatutok sa screen baka yung yung stress mo din yung stress level mo din ay tumataas pero sila umabot sila sa ganung lifespan na malinaw pa yung mata nila nakakapagbasa pa yung mga mga lola ko na yon so the uh, disease is a uh, shortening of the normal lifespan. There are stages of illness. There, there's the symptom, the assumption, and the, the medical care dependent and recovery. But mag-jump na tayo dito sa classification of diseases. Classification of diseases, um, the ang classification of diseases according to etiologic factors, according to origin, according to duration or onset and other classification of diseases such as number one yung etiologic yung origin saan ba to nang galing pag sinabing di ba yung etymology saan nang galing yung origin niya pa ang duration ng sak ng illness na to ang duration ng sakit na to and then um other classifications of diseases. But we will not be focusing on that. Pupunta na tayo sa factors and issues affecting health and illness. There are determinants of health. There are the social, economic, um, physical, and the person's individual characteristics and behavior. Nakalagay din dito, no? A healthy person ay nadetermine din pala according sa income at social status. Naniniwala pa kayo doon na kapag daw mas malaki ang sweldo mo, pwede kasi to na ano eh, na uh, correlated. Mas mataas ang sweldo, I remember, meron akong naging research noon na parang sinabi ko na nag-come up ako sa isang question na are, bakit yung mga progressive na countries, bakit mas marami nagsusuicide sa countries na yon Whereas sa mga countries na hindi naman, for example, first world First world countries, progressive countries um, versus the third world countries. Bakit mas marami nagsusuicide sa mga tao na yun? Bakit merong mga, bakit um, interrelated ba siya? So yung income, pag ba mas mataas ang income, mas nagkakaroon ba ng, um, mas na-aplift ba ang um, pamumuhay ng isang tao, ang social status, kapag ba sikat ka, mas healthy ka. Ang education ng tao, kapag ba mas um, educated ka, are you are you able to take care of yourself well? Meron din kasi mga practices na titingnan natin, for example, sa mga tribo, sa mga tribes, ano, yung education nila doon, yung health education nila, iba sa health education natin dito sa city you get me? So there are also physical environments, social support networks, genetics, personal behavior, health services, and um, gender. Okay, so these are the impact of illness on the patient and family. Merong behavioral and emotional changes. The impact on self-concept, impact on family. This is dynamic. The impact on family roles and the impact on um, body image. Body image is subjective concept of physical appearance. Parang, pag tinignan mo yung sarili mo, yung body image is, this is your mental picture of yourself. Are you seeing yourself as a healthy individual? Do you, di ba ngayon, meron na tayong uh, mga campaign na love yourself, na kung ano yung kung ano yung size mo, love your size. But, you would also want to take note are you are you really healthy? It's okay to it's um, we have nothing against um, people who are large or people who are very small. Kasi meron naman feeling na na mas thin, mas payat, mas healthy. But you have to take note of your biological needs also, your physiological needs. Kapa yung kamusta ba ang yung blood pressure? Kamusta ba ang yung um, blood level, kamusta ba ang iyong blood sugar level. So these are factors that contribute to an illness or health of a patient and family. Tapos na pala natin ang concept of um, man, person, and illness. Okay, let's go to healthcare delivery system. Healthcare delivery system, you are part of the healthcare delivery system. 
healthcare delivery system is the network of health facilities and personnel who carries out the task of rendering healthcare to the people. Um, hindi lang ito yung doctor, hindi lang ito nurse. These are a team of the healthcare individuals na nagbibigay ng um, care and um, attention sa ating mga patients or clients. Sa ating Philippine healthcare delivery system, we have um, complex set of organizations. We have the public and we have the private. For the public, we have the national and then the local. Pinag-aaralan pa natin na to, no? para meron kayong overview. Kasi in the, in the future, you may be working in a public health system or a private health system, private government. Is this profit or non-profit? Non-profit, non-commercial service orientations, these are maybe foundations, um, uh, social civic groups, meron kayong mga samahan that this is a non-profit, non-commercial, pero nagkakaroon kayo ng mga sponsors, donations. That's why you can keep your um, your business running. So profit, is this is commercial or market. Or for example, uh, private clinics, private laboratories. These are all private. Uh, profit. The Philippine healthcare system, ang lead agency natin, of course, is the Department of Health. Kamusta ba? Kung tatanungin ko kayo, no? kamusta ba sa inyong tingin ng ating Department of Health? Siyempre, kapag tinignan natin, tinignan natin ang ating news, ang ating Facebook, hindi siya lahat ay positive. Baka nga mas marami ay negative. According, uh, negative pertaining to our Philippine healthcare delivery system. That is why, kaya nga yung batch ninyo, no? we are training you for after 4, 5, 6, 7 years, kasi consider pa natin yung, yung mga trainings natin, after um, after 4 years or after 3 years na, ng training natin, na dadagdag na kayo sa Philippine healthcare delivery system or maybe you will be um, one of those um, Filipinos who will be sent abroad that you will be taking care of of uh, international individuals, foreign individuals. No? The Philippine healthcare delivery system is the totality of all policies, facilities, equipment, products, human resources, and services which addresses the health needs, problems, and concerns of the people. It is large, complex, multi-level, and multidisciplinary. There are four essential functions of a health system. The service provision, the resource generation, the financing, and stewardship. Mahalaga yung financing kasi ang health, hindi lang tayo nagbibigay ng care, but this, this, this should also be funded. The Sustainable Development Goals. Kung narinig nyo na to, very good. If this is your first time, um, I want you to be aware of the Sustainable Development Goals or the SDGs that we have. We have um, 17. No poverty. Ito yung gino goal ng, ng United Nations. Ito ang goal natin for every individual. No poverty. Zero hunger. Good health and well-being. Number three yung good health and well-being. Quality education, mas nauna pa yung health. Kung papansinin ninyo, top 3 pa yung good health and well-being compared to quality education. But of course, if a person is quality educated, if a person is educated enough, kasi nga, as nurses, as future nurses, ang ating number one na, na ginagawa no, is health education, health promotion. If a person is quality, if educated um, properly, properly educated, quality education ang ibinibigay natin sa kanya, he or she may be able to, to translate it, it to um, taking care of himself. Naaalagaan niya ang kanyang sarili. Number five, gender equality, clean water and sanitation. Again, pertaining to health pa rin ito. Affordable and clean energy. Actually, yung no poverty, yung zero hunger, health pa rin ito. Decent work and economic growth. Kung papasinin mo, nandun din siya sa, ano, no, sa hierarchy of needs at andun din siya dun sa Virginia Henderson need theory. Okay. Um, dito tayo magtatapos. Tatapusin ko lang yung discussion o to. Tapos itutuloy natin yung discussion natin tomorrow. Okay.
Okay. Number nine, industry, innovation, and infrastructure, reduced inequality, sustainable cities, responsible consumption, climate action. Um, dati, hindi pa natin pinapansin yung climate action, but right now, we are very much aware that there is an ongoing climate change. So you also need to be aware, uh, even though ang pinag-aaralan pinag-aaralan natin, even though we are taking care, uh, we are taking up uh, nursing as a course, but you are, you, as an individual, as an individual human being, you need to be aware also of your surrounding, of your environment. Dahil all throughout yung fundamentals ng nursing natin, from first year, second year, third year, and fourth year, makakam up mo yung mga concepts na oh, um, environment, health, illness, yung mga concepts na yan, at hindi mawawala yung environment doon. Life on land, peace, justice, partnership for the goal. So, these are the 17 sustainable development goals. Ang tawag dati dyan is millennial development goals. So, right now, we have, they have come up with sustainable development goals. Ibig sabihin, sustainable meaning kayang masundan ng lahat if everyone will be participating. So, that is the first part of our discussion on fundamentals of nursing. Natapos natin yung concept of man, health and illness, concept of nursing and profession. And tomorrow, um, meet tayo ng 1.30 para mas maaga tayo matapos. So, na 1.30, meet tayo. So, we will be discussing career development and history of nursing. Again, balikan ko yung written recitation natin for those who we're not able to hear it from me. We have a written recitation. Um, I was hoping sana na oral recitation, pero mas um, doable ang written. So from the concepts, from the different concepts of man, from these ner different nursing theorists, pili ka lang ng isa that you agree in the most. For example, um, according to uh, according to Katie Erickson, a man, a person, is a body, soul, and spirit. Why do you agree with Katie Erickson? So, sasabihin mo lang sa akin, why you agree with that, um, with that concept, with that idea? There is no uh, yes cut. There is no right or wrong answer. Titingnan ko lang din ang inyong participation because this is a graded written recitation. Yes. You have a question? Uh -huh. Yes. Um, etong one fifty words po is it minimum po? Um, maximum na yan. Maximum. Okay yeah. po mam. Oo. Oh, oh. Wag nyo nang masadong habaan kasi gusto ko lang malaman yung um participation yun. Dito kasi sa funda ano to eh, parang critical thinking din. Tinitingnan din yung how you are able to uh, for example yung mga theories na to. How are we going to uh, in interpret and implement it kapag tayo na yung nandun sa situation na yun? So, gusto ko lang din ma-practice ang ating, um, ating pag-iisip. No? So, maximum nyo na yung 150 words kasi ayoko rin magbasa ng na napakahaba. Ayoko rin naman kayong pahirapan na ng napakahaba. So, 150 words is your maximum. June 21, Monday. Send it to my email, attach it as a Word document, and do not forget yung file name ninyo, yung full name nyo, but um, umpisahan, ninyo, umpisahan ninyo, start with your last name. Do not forget the block because I also have other blocks, and then lagay mo yung concepts of man. Okay? Binigyan ko na kayo ng screenshot nito, so pili lang kayo ng isa na um, you agree with this theory the most. Again, walang right or wrong answer, pero hindi naman ibig sabihin na wala naman palang right or wrong, uh, copy-paste na lang natin. Wag naman, kasi mag magkaroon ka rin ng effort na explain mo yung sarili mo, bakit pinaniniwalaan mo. Or, pwede rin naman, nasasabihin mo, alin dito yung hindi ka nag agree Kung saan, ang kung ano ang gusto mo. If you do not agree with Virginia Henderson, why? If you agree with Fay Abdella, why? If you do not agree with Lydia Hall, why? Ganun lang. I just want to know your thoughts. Okay? So, that is all class. We will be... Um, 
we will be seeing each other tomorrow again. Pakisabi sa mga classmates natin na wala pa dito. Ganun yung mata ko. Yeah. Okay. Do you have other questions? Wala na. Okay. Wala na. So, thank you class for your um, active listening and participation. Walang participation. Ano? Active listening na lang. Thank you guys. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank, thank you, you ma'am. Thank, thank, thank you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.